Hey, dope family. This is your dope astrologer and tarot reader. And this is your Capricorn Collective reading. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, this is a general reading, so everything is not going to fit you and your situation. So take what applies and let the rest fly. And thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. So um, let's get into a little bit of your astrology really quick. We have a full moon lunar eclipse coming up this Saturday. I think that's the 28th or the 29th. One of those, those days, it's Saturday, okay? And so it's in Taurus. This energy is going to be affecting the fifth house. So this is the area of your life, Capricorn, that deals with romance, your romantic life, children, creativity, fertility. So any type of like crea creative projects you could be giving birth to. This also deals with um, your sun energy. So fathers could be very significant during this time. Um, any kind of like business or entrepreneur energy that you have during this time could be affected. And so with the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, you will be trying to bring some type of comfort and stability to this area of your life if you're not really happy about it. So for an example, if you're single, right, and you're not happy about your romantic life, you may try to change or react and respond differently to help you get the kind of result that you want. And there could be a series of events that will like create some type of domino effect that could help you get the result that you want. So if you want to be attached, you know, if you do the work and you stay positive, um, I did a video about why it's important to stay positive right now. You could start seeing results in, you know, the next few months. So it's very important that you not only, you know, stay positive or else you could possibly miss out on a good opportunity. But um, really, for some of you, you may be triggered when it comes to your confidence, your self-esteem, when it comes to the relationship that you have with romantic partners or not, um, any type of creative projects that you're working on. Your relationship with your children could be significant during this time as well. Um, so your confidence when it comes to one or more of those areas could be triggered in some kind of way. And so um, with the moon being here in your fifth house and this being the house of the sun, there could be some major changes and transformation. There could be something that will make you detach from something either by choice or by force so that opportunity that you once felt, you know, that was a lost opportunity, you may not feel that way a couple of months from now. What you um, want it to be an opportunity, you know, what opportunity you wanted to take, you may feel like, uh, I don't need it. It's not in my best interest. So, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, there could be some type of missed opportunity or some type of hiccup or obstacle that is preventing some type of opportunity from coming your way, Capricorn. So, let's get into a little general reading for you. So speaking of fifth house energy, this is Leo with the strength here. And then we have two of cups, two of wands. Right off the bat, we are dealing with um, you getting the strength to move on from something that you either broke up with this person, something fell apart, or you are seeing through your own eyes that the situation really wasn't it wasn't for you. You couldn't come to a conclusion or make a decision about what to do because it wasn't for you. A 
again, a Leo could be significant. What's this strength? Cards are always falling on the floor. The strength card could be about you finding out the truth about someone. Some of you, this is you're finding out the truth about yourself. You're being honest about what you want and what you do not want when it comes to your romantic life. Or for some of you, this is some type of opportunity that you're like, nah, that ain't for me. Um, you could have discovered something on your own. Someone could have presented some information to you. And this is something that you were really passionate about. This is someone that you really had deep feelings for. But because of this information that came out with the Seven of Swords in reverse, it made you have new feelings and emotions when it came to this person or this situation. Two of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. You could have stopped talking to this person. They could have stopped talking to you. There could have been some blocking going on because someone wasn't taking any action. Um, there could have been um, a lack of action due to a lack of communication as well. Some, some of you are in a situation where your person wasn't talking to you. And that is why you didn't, you pulled back. You didn't um, take any type of action towards this person. What else? Two of Cups in reverse. You'll get over it with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So that disappointment, the betrayal, the knives are, are slowly coming out of your back. It still stings a little bit right now for you. And that's to be, you know, expected. Someone is coming or will come to the conclusion that you, they needed you more than you needed them. Capricorn. And it's like, as soon as you take your energy away, I feel like, for the most part, y'all were down with this person. You were really willing to work with this person until this lie got exposed, this, you know, betrayal got exposed, or you found out the truth about what they were doing, what they were really saying. This could have been in the form of some type of communication, like somebody sent you a screenshot, somebody, you know, um, said something real slick in a text or something and you were like oh okay so that's how you really feel about me that's how you really feel about you know this situation what's the outcome going back and forth with this person um there does seem to be some unfinished business it's, it feels like someone still has something to say Someone still has a point to make. Like I said before, someone is coming to the conclusion and feeling like, oh, you know, they need you a little bit more than you need them. You could have been the one that was providing the emotional support in the situation. And now that you've pulled back Capricorn, they're like, well, wait a minute. You know, what do you mean you're not calling me? What do you mean you're not texting me? What do you mean we can't go out anymore? So there may be some of that type of residual energy that comes back. The obstacle between you two is just stagnant energy. And this is your energy, um, earth energy with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like for the most part, a lot of you, whoever is in your energy right now, um, you are taking your energy away from this person. You're not making any type of effort. And if you do make some type of effort, for some of you, it will be, you know, something malicious, vindictive. You'll try to get your lick back, Capricorn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Scorpio season. You know, you are 
you have favorable energy with a Scorpio. And honestly, I know a lot of Capricorns that act just like a Scorpio. They can be sneaky. They can get their, their lick back when you least expect it. They can be very uh, revengeful in that kind of way. So some of you may be tempted to do that. If they do, what will happen? Karma. Some of you, it will be instant karma. It will be instant justice. Now, I don't know if that is good or bad. Is it good or bad? Oh, it's going to be bad. Page of Swords. Is it going to be bad for a Capricorn or bad for the other person? If you walked away, then it will be bad for the other person. With the Eight of Cups here. Let's get into the person that's on your mind, the person that you're thinking about. Give me a thumbs up if that resonated with you. And thank you for clicking that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of the next video. The person on Capricorn's mind. Who is Capricorn thinking about? Possibly a Libra. Possibly somebody that you've already dealt with. For some of you, I really feel like this is someone where you feel like you messed up or things really, you know, maybe somebody got the wrong impression of you or maybe you misjudged someone. Who is this person? They could be a Leo with the Queen of Wands. Uh, they definitely felt wish fulfillment with you. Um, this is someone that you are very attracted to. They were very attracted to you. They could also be a popular person, even if it's just on social media. Like, they could have a following. They could be popular. Um, or they could just have, like, a really busy social life, this person. How do they feel about Capricorn? They feel like um, this is Taurus energy, Capricorn. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse is how they feel about you. They feel that you could have been very selfish or guarded or um, you... I'm hearing they feel like you made them go through hoops or you are holding back some kind of way um maybe you were holding back your time or putting forth any type of effort with them definitely someone that you've dealt with with the six of cups there's some type of memory that they have of you that they can't let go of and so they're healing from it now with the four of swords Some of you, they feel like all you wanted was sex or you had sex on the brain too much and it, it, it kind of turned them off or they think about the sex that the two of you had. Clarify that. Well, here's the queen of pentacles, my Beyonce card. Um... The sex thing, I think there's a small few of you, but for the most part, this person wanted to be a partner to you. They felt like they could at least. They, they felt like that they were the one that could nurture and grow and help you along the way, be a helpmate, um, just be a partner. They could have saw something in you where they felt like the two of you could have made a good team, but you were holding back. The two of you could have talked about getting pregnant or maybe there was a pregnancy scare. 
Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. How do you feel about this person? You walked away. And if you haven't walked away, you're thinking about it. Why is that? Five of Pentacles in reverse with the lovers. So, I feel like there was some type of communication, some, some, some type of conversation where um, this person said something, Capricorn, and you were like, no, nah, I'm good. No, I, I don't want to deal with it. Like, it was something that was said or something that was discussed that turned you off. This is Gemini energy. Some of you, you have taken too many hits and loss in love, and you're just not trying to commit right now. And some of you walked away from this person because you felt like... They wanted something um, exclusive. They wanted something serious, more serious than you can give right now. Or you're, they're, they're just not the person that you want to settle down with right now. What's the obstacle? Communication. The Hierophant in reverse, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo energy. The two of you could have different beliefs. You could approach situations differently. You could maneuver in this world differently. With the communication card, um, again, I feel like the two of you, y'all just don't communicate well. And for that reason, someone feels like the two of you can't work out. There may be some... Um, Someone may feel like someone needs to grow up spiritually with the Hierophant in reverse, or there's like a difference of opinion when it comes to your belief system. You know, different religions, different backgrounds, different cultures. There could be a difference in, you know, education or, you know, like um, a different upbringing so to speak and because of those reasons someone feels like manifesting this relationship may not be possible money could be an issue too like different economic backgrounds different you know maybe someone makes more money than the other person and they feel like the two of you, someone feels like it will never be even as far as the money that the two of you make. Like someone will always make more money than the other person or something like that. What's the outcome? Stuck in your head with the eight of swords. Why is that? This person is mysterious to you, Capricorn, or you're mysterious to them. And it's like the more mysterious, the better. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're just not that deep. Like you're just not really paying attention to this person. And of course, when you do that, you know, people, some people tend to want you even more. Um, but um, this is cancer energy. There could be another argument or some type of disagreement that's coming with this person. Yeah, someone is choosing to take their emotions out of it and um, act with authority. Um, someone may choose to act like a jerk, to be cold, to be standoffish if communication does happen again. This is also a message for someone to stay firm when it comes to setting boundaries with this person. Because I feel like whoever this is, if you don't give them what they want, then they're gonna lash out in some kind of way. Cross watcher, you, 
may be feeling that way about your Capricorn. Like if you don't give them what they want, if you don't tell them what they want to hear, then it's going to be another argument. Final messages. They spy on you. Even if they block you, they spy on you. They find a way to find out more information. Um, Sagittarius energy here with the temperance in reverse. This person, who's whoever is doing the spying, they don't have any type of like self-control. They could let their emotions take over and they're not really handling the situation in a logical way. So Capricorn, if that's you, stop it. And if it's your person, then that's why you gotta like be stern and like really stay true to your boundaries with this person. But I do see some type of disagreement, some type of going back and forth or something. You haven't heard the last from this person, Capricorn. So that is your reading. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If ain't nobody told you that they appreciate you, I appreciate you because you took some moments out of your day to spend it with me. And I really appreciate that. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.